data transformation in SPSS. <clears throat> Reciprocal or inverse transformation in SPSS is one of the options that can be done to attempt to transform data that are not normally distributed, whether it is positively skewed or negatively skewed, and try to transform this data to become normally distributed, i.e. to try to revert the data to see if they become normally distributed, and thus will allow using the parametric test in SPSS, as in statistical tests that are parametric, required data, requires data that are normally distributed. And if the data are not normally distributed, there are different ways to handle the distribution, try to transform the data using one of the options, which is reciprocal transformation. So if we have a positively skewed data, the way to do reciprocal transformation, and this data have a positive number, we use one divided on the value for each score in the data. Data that has zero in it can use the equation one divided by x plus one. Data that have negatively negative numbers in it add one or any at number one or any number that makes a negative number in the data positive. Use the equation one divided by x plus one or two or three and so on. That's for positively skewed data. For negatively skewed data, it's two steps required to do reciprocal transformation. The first step is called data reflection, as you need to do this step for negatively skewed data. And the reciprocal transformation formula is 1 divided by the maximum value or the highest value in the data added to it number one and then use this addition to subtract it from each individual value within the data so we're going to show you how to do the reciprocal transformation for positively skewed data and negatively skewed data another way of transforming data in space is data that are not normally distributed or data that has an outliers in it, or data that are positively skewed, is to use a reciprocal transformation. Hoping that this reciprocal transformation will revert the data from being non-normal to a normal, which will permit using parametric tests in SPSS. Here I have a set of data in a column labeled PS. And I'm going to explore this data and uh, to de and determine whether it is normally distributed or not, or there is skewness on it or not. And if there is, if it is not normally distributed, then we will try to use reciprocal transformation to try to correct the, these data and see if it is really can revert to normal distribution. The first step to do is to check whether these data are normally distributed. And I'm going to click on Analyze, Descriptive, then click in on Explore, Reset this, and I'm going to move the data title titled PS into the dependent list. I'm going to untick stem, take the histogram, and take normality plot with test as I will use the statistical test in SPSS to work out for me whether the data are normally distributed or not. If I click on continue, then click in OK. SPSS generated a few tables. And if we look at the descriptive table, again, this data shows that there is skewness in the data, 0.99, nearly 1. And the standard error is 0.2. And uh, the software has used two tests, Kolomogorov syndrome and Shabiro Welik test, to determine whether these data are normally distributed or not. And the T 
test shows that they are not normal. Histogram again shows that these data are skewed to the right, so it's positively skewed. Now, how can I correct these data? So, I'm going to use one of the options that is available to transform the data. We have three options, one of them to use the log 10, another one to use square root, and a third one is to use reciprocal. And to do reciprocal transformation, click on transform, compute variable, reset this, and I'm going to generate again, I'm going to generate a column where the data uh, on the PS column uh, will be computed, and I'm going to call it inverse, inverse data, and the way to do inverse is to click on one then divide this make a division and move the data into this so we will going to uh, inverse this data and uh, if we hit the button for ok again data has been generated and all these cell content has been <coughs> inversed and uh, to explore whether this data are normally distributed click on analyze descriptive and then explore and i'm going to move inverse to the dependent list here so to compare compare both and i'm not going to do any changes if you click the button for ok so here, SBSS have made a descriptive data for both. The positively skewed data, which has 0.99 value for skewness. When we inverse or reciprocal, did a reciprocal transformation on the data, the skewness has been reduced to 0.05, which means that these data are now normally distributed. Again, if we look at the test of normality we can see that for the positively skewed they are not normally distributed once we transformed these data using reciprocal or inverse the data become normally tend to become more normally distributed if you look at the histogram this is the data before transformation reciprocal transformation and this is the data after reciprocal transformation. So using reciprocal transformation in this situation has really converted the data from non-normal to normal distribution. And this will allow and permit using parametric test. So this is one of the options available to try to transform the data if it is not normally distributed or if it has an outliers uh, Reciprocal transformation is one of the method that can be used in SPSS to transform data that are negatively skewed. So when you have a negative skewed data and you want to do a parametric test, you can't proceed with parametric test until you try to resolve the distribution of the data as parametric test required that the data are normally distributed and reciprocal transformation one of the options that can be used to attempt to transform non-normal non negative skewed data to normally distributed data In this data view in SPSS, on the left hand side, I have a data that are labeled NS stands for negatively skewed. I had already checked the distribution of the data and found this data to be negatively skewed. So it is not normally distributed. And shortly, I'm going to show you how to do 
exploration, exploration of the data and find whether the data are normally distributed or not. So the way to do that is to click on Analyze, Descriptive, click on Explore. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to move the data labeled NS into the dependent list. I'm going to click on the plots and tick the stem, tick the histogram as I'm going to view the data in a histogram. And also I'm going to look at normality plots with tests. So using statistically tests to determine the normally, normality distribution of the data. Click on continue, then click on OK. An output will be generated with tables. The one in the middle, labeled descriptive, showed that there is a skewness in this data. And the skewness is minus 0.73. And the standard error is 0.23. So these data are negatively skewed. And looking at the table below, again, test of normality using these two common tests showed that the data are not normally distributed. So this descriptive analysis established that the data we have are negatively skewed and the distribution are not normal. And uh, to proceed with this data for statistical analysis, if the plan to use a parametric test, then transformation of the data is essential to try to transform the data from being not normal to normally distributed and attempt to divert the data from not normal distribution to normal distribution. So there are few options for transforming the data. So, that, so, so it can be used for parametric tests. And those options are to use either log 10 transformation, square root transformation, and or reciprocal transformation. For negatively skewed data, to do a reciprocal transformation, you have to do first a prerequisite step which is called data reflection. The data has to be reflected prior to do reciprocal transformation. And the way to do data reflection is to click on transform, click on compute variable, and then I'm going to label the target variable as reflection. And I'm going to use a formula here in the numeric expression for data reflection. And to do data reflection, first of all, we need to find the maximum value in the data. So here from this table descriptive, the maximum value for the data is 1.26. So if we type 1.26, I'm going to add 1 to it, then going to subtract this from every individual scores within this data. So the, to do reflection, you, get, you find the maximum value, add to it 1, then subst subtract value for each individual scores in the data. If I click on the OK, icon, I get a column in the data view. This column is generated and labeled as reflection. If we examine and explore the distribution of this reflected data, you can see here that reflection has changed the data to become skewness to positive 0.732. So now 
we've done the reflection as a first step to do reciprocal transformation is as following click on transform click on compute variable reset this and then we call it I'm going to call the target variable as in ver inversion and in the numeric expression we're going to type 1 divided by the reflected data so to do reciprocal transformation 1 divided by the reflected data click on the OK data view spaces has generated a column labeled inversion so data has been transformed and to examine the distribution of this data I'm going to click on explore and then move the column generated called inversion into the dependent list and click on OK I'm going to compare the data before transformation the skewness was minus 0.73 post transformation using reciprocal transformation the skewness is reduced to minus 0.42 and looking at normality test generated by SPSS and calculated by the software shows here the reciprocal transformation has really transformed the data from being negatively skewed to normally distributed thus will permit using parametric tests just to mention a point here and instead of doing reciprocal transformation in two steps reflection and then doing the inversion it is possible to combine both in one step and the way to do that is to click on transform compute variable and then I'm going to call that re reciprocal direct is to use the numeric expression 1 divided by the maximum value which is 1.26 1 1.26 adding 1 to it subtracting the value in the neat and change data from negatively data so here in this i'm going to do a in reciprocal transformation and data reflection simultaneously on the negatively skewed data and if i click the button or the icon for ok a column will be generated Again, as we can see, the value for reciprocal direct using one combined step and two separate steps, we can see that the value for inversion is the same. So there are. this is how to do reciprocal transformation in SPSS for a data that are negatively skewed.